Hi, hello everyone, it's only one gamer, and welcome back to the Terraria Let's Play. This is part 28, 29, 28, I think it's 28, we're gonna go with that and hope it's right, but I hope everyone's having an absolute fascinating day out there, and there's a lot of silver here. I am currently down at my obsidian farm. Why do I call this my obsidian farm? Well, look at all the water, and look at the large pool of lava. Um, this is basically infinite obsidian. Uh, somehow all the water drained there, and there's a lot of lava there, so it's just like, oh, the game was like, you want infinite obsidian? Well, there you go. I don't know if some people are as fortunate to get that much obsidian in their world, but, uh, you know, I was, and... Let's go ahead and summon only one zombie. Only one slime is kind of taking a little bit of a hiatus, so I decided to bring only one zombie. And actually, where is only one slime? He was supposed to be in my inventory. Weird, I must have put him in a chest, but then again, I don't recall doing that. That is insanely weird. I hope we didn't lose him. He's like, I'm packing my bags and leaving. You didn't treat me right, but what did I do? <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead, since we're down near the underworld, I will show you guys what I have been doing. Um, I've been preparing for the wall of flesh, the boss battle that enters us in hard mode and that is so scary and fire amp don't ruin my discussion here. Alright, so yeah, I've been doing this and I have not got too far out on this side. Actually, I'll just show you guys the map so you guys can see and I got all over to that point. Um, we got a lot to fill up into because I feel like the wall of flesh is gonna just be the most difficult fight ever and um... I am really worried, and I've been exploring all the way over there, almost to the dungeon. That's how much of the underworld I have been exploring. But, before we head back up, I do believe... Is this demon going to cause us any problems? Probably, of course. They always try to. Come on, just d die, I tell you. Die. Day, day, yeah, all right, there we go. Yeah, them demon scythes, uh, you can actually get a spell um, and cast them things for yourself, which is awesome, but um, actually, you know, I'm not fortunate enough to get that. But what I have got is the wonderful spell called Water Bolt. Check out this amazing spell. It is pretty awesome, and I love it. Why is, I'm guessing it's going to really benefit us when we fight the almighty wall of flesh, so... And I'm hoping that Water Bolt will do a lot of damage to it. Um, I've heard it's really easy. And as you can see, they keep on bouncing off stuff. So they're really effective um, for like a fight like the Wall of Flesh. So that's why I went back to the dungeon and searched all the books. That's where you find the Water Bolt. For anyone wondering, it's on the bookshelf in the dungeons. And sometimes it's really difficult to find it. But you can if you keep on trying. But enough rambling. You guys are probably like, oh, you're just going to keep on talking and open the freaking shadow chest. And just, just give me a moment, all right? Only one zombie is a little bit excited. All right, so what do we have in here? We have a Zealous Sun Fury. Um, that looks like that does a quite a bit of damage. What else do we have? We have some Meteorite Bars. And restoration potion, gravitation potion, and some... Oh, dark demon, really, bro, really. Why don't you drop me something good? And yeah, let me take all that. I've never used the Sun Fury, so let's see how that goes. I'm dying, get out of here. No, God, thank you. Wow, this thing is pretty awesome. Oh, I might want to take that chest so I know I've looted it. I think there's a few other shadow chests I overlooked, but I am not exactly sure and whatnot, so... No, come on, yeah. If, if, if it would just... Okay, yes, yes, yes. All right. Kill that, kill that blasted slime. Come on, you got this. Kill the fire amp. Yes. This thing is pretty cool. Um, yes, there's a tombstone there because I probably died when I was trying... Oh, no. Let's get out of here now. All right. I about died. I noticed my health was a little bit low and I was, you know, headed for a terrible fate. But I also... I, 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 I added a bookcase and then I also added two mannequins and put four meteorite... And full um, necro armor and a shadow chest here to put our gold, which we have a total of 50 gold, which are we, we're doing pretty well with money-wise. And I kept on killing voodoo demons, so it gave me more guide voodoo dolls. I actually had like a ton more, but I threw them away because I was like, I don't need all these. So, yeah, we got three of them. So, that is fantastic. I don't know if you could summon the Wall of Flesh over again. If you can, we could summon it three times. I don't think we want to do that. That would be quite um, scary. And uh, not for me, basically. So, let's go down here. Um... Let's see, I really like Sun Fury, so, and it's a zealous one, so I kind of want to keep that. So let's go ahead and put our bombs in there, though. And where is, yeah, my uh, potion chest is a little bit full. Um, I, I'm in a bit of a predicament now, because I have too many potions. I never thought this day would happen Well, I have too many. Because um, I got magic power, battle potions like what is, what is all this stuff why is it give me so much um well let's see 
All right, yeah, I could definitely do something with these. Let's take them out and then put these there. And I do believe that's about it. Um, and a shadow chest. What did I put my chest there? Yeah, let's go ahead and just put a shadow chest down there. Kind of reorganize that. And once more, if you guys recall in the last part, I was uh, harvesting a lot of hill stone. Well, I got more, and lots of it, which figures it always happens that way. So let me go ahead and put these extra meteorite bars we got and take... Wait, 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 what am I doing? I need that stuff. All right, so now we finally are going to get full Motris Molten Armor. Yeah, that's that's what I'm looking for. So let's see here. Yes, let's... Wait a second. Um, I think I done got the Greaves. Let me go ahead and... Acquiring the griefs that eh, there you are yes because we made the griefs in the last part I do believe so this part is kind of like the final preparation for the wall of flesh in the next part I'm gonna try to kill the wall of flesh now I'm not promising anything because that's gonna be really difficult to do and I'm quite worried about it honestly um I'm really like scared of that I I'm just I keep on worrying that I'm not gonna kill it uh, it's it's a it's a very scary thing indeed okay now, I don't want all this armor. I need to make another mannequin so I can just put this and whatnot. Alright, so now we, now when we walk, we have like flames that follow behind us, which is quite nice. Um, I guess I shall get more fallen stars if I find any. Um, I try to collect all the falling stars that I can, because we can indeed make a, um, a, what's it called, a, a star cannon? Something that you make with the, um, mini shark, yeah. You can, uh, we can make, I forget what they're called, I th I'm going with Star Cannon because that seems to be the most rightful thing I can think of right now to call it, so, yeah, that's why I've been collecting a lot of these calls, the Star Cannon actually shoots Mana Stars, so, what are, what are these stars, no, they're called Fallen Stars, okay, but, not Mana Stars, I don't know where I'm getting some of this stuff at, but, yeah, it shoots Fallen Stars, and as you can imagine, these things are really hard to come by, so, yeah, we're gonna be collecting a lot of Falling Stars, so I just figured I would run out through here a little bit and see if I can get any in our new armor which is pretty boss oh three see sometimes you really luck up with it and it's just awesome and I, lenses don't hurt either because the summon the twins which is in hard mode and uh, we need a, quite a bit of lenses I do believe just like uh, we had to craft with the regular Aya Cthulhu because the twins is like two Aya Cthulhu's they're just kind of different and whatnot so hard mode definitely has a lot of cool bosses I can't wait to tackle and kill um, but, uh, yeah, the, uh, the the Wall of Flesh uh, is going to be the difficult part there. I don't know if you guys ever seen this meteorite that crashed here. I don't know if I ever showed it in a video. I think I did, but, uh, whoa, a whole army of meteor heads. Well, let me just kill all these things real quick. Um, I don't think we're going to find any more. We best go back to our crib. Oh, well, psh, right when I say that, only one zombie. Why don't you kill that other zombie? That would be quite the... Interesting thing to see. Um, right when I uh, almost go to teleport back, I keep on running into more. All right, I think I'm about to tell. Well, never mind. Um, I already got 10, 11. Oh, just keep on stocking me up here. Uh, 12. Okay, how, how many more do you want to get me? So this is basically, if you guys want to find fallen stars, just go around at night and do some searching like this. Search your whole map all the way to the end. A snatcher. Look, look at all this stuff. It's so weak now because we're so professional and it's pretty awesome. So, um, for molten armor, I'm quite excited to have this because it means we're a boss now and nothing can really harm us that much, especially not all this small fry stuff. It's just like, what, what are you trying to accomplish? Um, okay, I think we're going to teleport back now on the count of three. One, two, and three. Very well. Now let's go put these up with the other mana stars we have. See, my, my problem is I'm afraid if I craft a star cannon, I'm not going to be able to use regular ammo for my mini shark. And I don't want to do that because I think I can defeat the wall of flesh with um, the mini shark, the water bolt, and the... Uh, da, 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 da. There's a special bow I want to make. Hey, I might be able to make it. I hope I can make this. Okay, if I can make this in this part, that's going to be awesome. You guys are probably like, what bow are you talking about? Well, um, there's a special bow that's only available in the console versions. And um, I'm going to try to get my material together. And what you need to uh, make it is, you need two of these, I think. I think you need two of them. And, yeah, Sharanga. Um, I don't really know how to say that, but I'm going with Sharanga. Um, now we just need 10 more meteor. Oh, come on. Why do we got to be a bit short? Okay, okay. Think, just don't. Let's go down and get some more real quick. We need, like, uh, not that much more. So let's go get that real quick. Then go back up and make this amazing bow. And then we'll probably have to sum this part up. And then in the next part, I will have everything prepared. And we will be fighting the Wall of Flesh. So 
basically what you guys can do in the comment section is just go down be like good luck on the wall of flesh um, because that will probably be in the next part and then your luck hopefully it will have affected me in some way or another and I will be able to kill the wall of flesh so it will be awesome so let's go this way I suppose because I always go this way for some reason to get my hellstone all right, so I, I, there's so much hellstone around here. I should have probably just got a city and skin potion so I could just jump in the lava and mine stuff and whatnot. But I always do it the tricky way and try to go around lava and still mine it, which is quite odd. I don't know why I do that, but it's, it adds a spice into it. And I really dig this armor. This is the first time I've ever had this. And I think I remember seeing people on the PC version that had this. And I was like, you're so cool because I never knew what it was or anything. Because I was a noob back then. But ever since I started playing the console version, my life is bettered. <laughs> I don't know. This is like uh, some weird commercial you see or something. Okay. Just, just go. Die. Get out of here. Thank you. Yeah, you're pointless. I know I'm passing up a lot of these crystals, um, life crystals. They're not no concern to me. I know I can sell them for money, but money is really not a concern for me either. I'm just, like, pretty pimped out on everything I need. So, I mean, like, for real. Um, nothing down here. I think I've already been here before. I'm trying to just find easy, accessible. See, it dropped me another guide voodoo doll. It just takes up space in my inventory. I don't need you. Get away. Um, screw it. Let's just use this dynamite for no reason. I mean, might as well, right? See, there's another live crystal. How many of these are gonna appear? Um, okay. Well, I'm just gonna throw this somewhere. I want it to be somewhat beneficial if I throw it. Um, well, fire amp. These things, the fire amps are really annoying. They are probably the most annoying creatures in the underworld here. So, let me, uh, I'm gonna throw the dynamite somewhere down here. Never, yeah. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to try to go get a little bit of fire in place. Just leave. Come on. Thank you. I'm going to try to get... Oh, come on. I always fall in lava, too. That's why it's good to have um, obsidian skin potions so you don't do what I just did. Okay, so... I'm going to try to throw some dynamite and see how that goes. Wow, it bounced back off. That was, that was a fail. All right, well... It did not do much, and I just flooded that. That was the worst thing I could have ever done. Now... It don't look like I'm getting that hailstone. Oh, wow, you're such a genius. Oh, well, you know, I try to be. Uh, yeah. All right, well, here's a piece. We, we're, we're slowly getting some, some of this hailstone. I mean, it's taking a while. Sorry, only one zombie. I just let you fall in lava, but that's okay. All right, I'll take this little piece. Get caught up. Uh, this just... Oh, our demon, please. Just leave me alone, bro. I don't like you. You don't like me. It's kind of, you know, it evens out. So, all right. Uh... I don't want to go back with less, so I want to be sure I have what I need. Um, okay, there's a few little bit here. Would you please just... No, get get out of here. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of you too, hell bad. I don't even... You just showed up, but I don't like you. Okay, so... Uh, come on, not another one, man. Um, okay, let me get this. Dip, dip, dip. And... Oh, come on. What are you, what are you doing? These bone serpents are not that big of a nuisance, though. They're pretty chill... You know, they don't they don't really harm you too much, which is nice of them. And they're pretty weak, too, actually, so that's always surprising. All right, there you go. How much I got? I got 18. I don't... I want to at least have 30. I'd feel pretty safe with having 30. Lava slimes are no concern to me. They're, like, the weakest creatures down here because they can't really do nothing to you. Um, These hill bats, on the other hand, can take your health down if you're not careful. Uh, Okay, ooh, that... All right. Looks like we found quite a bit right here well not really i've ran into like some hellstone that i seen that was surrounded by lava and there was like so much of it and i wanted to get it so bad but couldn't because it was surrounded and i was just like why okay there we go good bit we got 29 that should be enough so let's go ahead and teleport out of it teleportation for the win and uh, da, 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 which i still don't have enough you, you guys know it's gonna happen yep i have a feeling it's really gonna happen Okay, no. I got 11, whew, that was close. I didn't think I was gonna have enough. I, I would have been really devastated there, but now we can make the Sharangad. Um, still don't know how to say that properly, but it's okay. I'm sure a lot of people have problems with that. So now we can sell our Keen Demon Bow. Where you at, Alfred? We don't need that anymore, and there we go. And now we have this cool bow. Um, I think this will also benefit us in the fight against the Wall of Flesh, so let's go ahead and shoot Whoa, this thing is awesome. Oh yeah, that's awesome. And it makes spectra arrows. So when I shoot it, it makes spectra arrows? Oh, are you serious? 
That's pretty interesting. All right, then. Awesome. So I do believe we will end this part here, and in the next part, we're going to fight the Wall of Flesh if all goes well with our new bow and our new Sun Fury and our Water Bolt, and hopefully I am prepared for this. If you guys got any other recommendations on what I should do, I do know I got to increase the platform um, longer and do a lot of prep, more preparation, so I'm going to do all that off camera. And so, uh, well, like I said, wish me luck, and I will see you guys in the next part, which we will probably be entering hard mode. Wow, kind of hard to believe. Have a nice day. This is the only one gamer and only one zombie. Signing out.